Hey, welcome to Vid Society. My name is Chris, and in this video, I'm going to do a review for you on a keyword research tool that I've been using actually for quite a few years. I forgot about it for a long time, and I happened to run across it the other day. I was like, oh, I think I got a copy of that. So I re-downloaded it, installed it, and there's been tons of updates to it, and I'm actually quite blown away because this is like a one-time price, super cheap compared to most keyword tools. In fact, I'll put the link for it directly below this video if you want to go there and check it out. So this is a tool, it's called Keyword Researcher, and it lets you search keywords from multiple sources, from Google Search, from Amazon, YouTube, Google Related, Google Questions, and you can even import uh, keywords from CSV files or manually just import a list of keywords that you can work on. And so what I'm going to do is show you how to use this tool and how it works and how you can find a lot of really good keywords that you can use, whether you're making YouTube videos or maybe you're just trying to build out your website and you need to find out what keywords are best, maybe trying to find some long tail keywords. All right, so before I jump into the software, I want to show you what this tool does and how it works. So if you go to Google, if you go to YouTube, if you go to Amazon, or any of these other places anymore, if you start to type in a keyword, it's going to give you suggestions. So let's just take, for example, we type in make money. What Google is going to show us are the trending keywords, which is really important because if you go use a keyword tool to find keywords based around make money, it's most likely going to be outdated by at least 30 days. And so the keywords you're getting may not be getting uh, that many searches anymore. But what you're always going to get is if you go directly to these websites and enter in their search box is the trending keywords that are most popular right now. And so if we type in make money, it's going to show us what is the most popular right now. And we can see here it gives us two words, four words, five words and we can expand on this so we can even go say maybe with and then it's going to give us more keywords and we could do say make money for and you got all different kinds of keywords we can use here that are really popular and it works the same way with uh, YouTube we type in make money we can see the most popular searches make money on YouTube without making videos this has become absolutely huge on YouTube lately. I've seen tons and tons of videos like this and basically it's all about re-uploading Creative Commons videos. Uh, but I don't know how well that works anymore, but I know it's a popular topic and that's why they're getting uh, so much attention right now. We could do make money online and we can see even a lot longer tail keywords that we can use. Uh, we can say make money online with and now we got some really long tail keywords that we can use here. And these are the type of keywords that are really good if you're just starting a brand new YouTube channel. Because when you start a new YouTube channel, you're not going to rank very well for medium to high competition keywords because your YouTube channel is not established yet or even your website is not established. And so what you have to do is start to build it a little bit so Google or YouTube knows that you're growing it. It has a little bit of authority. Then you can start ranking for a little more competitive keywords. But when you start out, you want long tail keywords. So one's make money online without investment 2021. That would be a good one. Make money online without investment work from home. That would be a good one. We know people searching for these. And even with Amazon, if you're promoting products, what you can do is you can come to Amazon, you can start searching in. Uh, maybe you want to promote popular products from, let's just say, maybe wireless routers. So we type in wireless router. And you can see here wireless routers highest rated for home. Uh, wireless router, we'll type in four. And then we can go on and we can see this. And so, but the thing is, to do this, it can take a long time and it can require a lot of. Uh, using a spreadsheet, copying, pasting, and typing, and all that. And what this tool does is it automatically goes through this list and it will do it letter by letter and collect all these terms that you see from these drop downs automatically for you so you don't have to come in here and copy and paste, copy and paste, or type it out. So let's jump back to it and let's go here and take a look what we want to do is find some keywords based around the make money niche obviously this is a really big niche so what we can do is type in make money 
and then we can type in make money here also. But what you can do is fill this out and it gives you all these options. We can say, we can come down here, let me just drop this down some. And it pre-fills some questions or terms that's based around this that you can use to search for keywords. So how to, or how blank make money. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna to go to Google, it's gonna type in how, and then it's gonna take all the keywords that has this and then make money at the end. How does uh, make money, that one doesn't make sense. How do, okay, why do, make money for, uh, make money for. And we can scroll down here, you can see there's all different kinds of things that you can use depending on the type of keyword you're using. Maybe it's region based, maybe it's based upon shopping. So maybe you're shopping, maybe you're wanting to do a site or a channel on purses. So if you typed in purses up here, it would say purses star under 100. And then it would take all the keywords and then replace the star with whatever Google shows. Now, uh, you can see down here, here's some really good ones here for the best and top. What we're going to do though, is we're going to do this manually. So I'm not going to use this. If you wanted to, all you'd have to do is just double click any of these and it would add it to this box. Or let's just say, um, make money star online. And then what that's going to do is search Google for this term and fill in this blank spot. Now over here, this here is your play button. This is when it's going to go start and it's going to search. Down here are your search settings and this is what makes it really powerful. So for example, I can do search settings from A to H. What that's going to do is it's going to go to Google and type in make money and then a letter A. And then it's going to copy all those terms that it finds in the drop down that starts with A. And then it's going to go B and C all the way to letter H or you can do it all the way to Z. Or you can really expand it and you can go to, it's gonna to go to Google and it's gonna type make money A, A, or A, B, A, C, A, D. And it's gonna fill in all these terms that normally you're not gonna find any other way. So I'm just gonna do A to Z and you can even do the numbers here, zero to nine. This is really good if you're wanting to find products to promote uh, serial numbers, model numbers, things like that from Amazon. I've done a lot of videos on Amazon that I've uploaded in the past where I use this and I would just type in uh, something like Samsung television and then I would hit this and it would find model numbers of Samsung televisions and I could go find those, find out which ones are popular to promote them. You also got region settings here that you can choose. And then once you're ready, you just hit play. And I don't know how the back end of this works, but you can search a lot of searches. Whereas normally Google would ban your IP for it. You have the options to add proxies too, but I rarely ever have to do that because this just works really good. So we can see what it's doing here. Let me go ahead and stop it because we've already got a bunch of keywords here. And I can scroll down and we can see make money network marketing online. Uh, we can just go on and on and on from all these keywords. But what we can do from here, once you have your keywords, it lets you organize them or manage them, the ones you wanna keep, the ones you wanna get rid of. So down here at the bottom, you can see I can move all these keywords over here to this grid if I wanna do that. Or I can just find the ones that I like and I can click this arrow and it's gonna add it over here for me. I can delete everything. I can copy this list to a clipboard, which would be good if maybe you wanna offer this service online as five or as a gig to do keyword research, you could do that. You can export them in different types of files. And then there's some other options here, but let's go ahead and move all of these over. Okay, and let me drag this over. And you can see we have a few columns here that we can adjust and change. But what I want you to focus on is over here on the left hand side under list, you can see there's three different colors, white, gray, and black. Right now, every keyword is assigned under gray, which is neutral. And what you can do is you can kind of filter these keywords based on whether you want to use them or not by which color you use. So let's say, for example, make money on GTA. This is a video game. I don't want that. I can click black and that's gonna put it in the black category. Make money Eve online. I don't want that one. I don't want that one. I don't want that one. And I can do that throughout this list. And then if I come up here to the top, I can sort the entire list by just one color. So if I only wanna see the ones that I marked in black, I can see them. 
If I want to see all the ones in gray, I can see them. And you can see that the ones that were in black are now gone because they're over here in this category. Or if, there's, if I only want to mark the ones that I really want to see, I can do that too. So I'll mark this one as I want this one, I want this one, and this one, and this one. And then I just want to show this list. So I'll click that, and these are the only ones that I see. Then you can export this list if you want to to Google Ads and you can collect your uh, average monthly searches and you can import them back in here and save them and work with it. And you'll see here where it also says article and keyword tags. So this is not something that I use with this tool, but if you do your own writing for your own articles, you may really like this. What you can do is you can come up here and hit this plus button and it breaks down where you can create different categories and articles and you can subcategorize them and then what you would do is over here on the right hand side you can see where it says write content so if we click on that it's going to actually open up a content writer and what we can do is we can use the keywords that we chose here and marked as the ones that we want and we can create an article using this word processor and it gives you all kinds of features that you can use which I'm not going to go into detail about because if you click this help button they have a complete tutorial section that goes over absolutely everything that you want to know about this tool. So I'm going to go ahead and close this because I don't use that but once again you might. We'll go back here and show this gray list and then you also have a negative keyword list you can add and what it'll do is just remove any keyword that has the negative keywords in it. You can use keyword tags to organize your keywords. Mostly I use it just to find keywords. I uh, To find these keywords and let me give you another example. Let me clear all these out. We'll just, uh, you can click on one of these and you can right click and it gives you options to do different things too where you can assign it, you can Google it, uh, you can add a negative keyword, you can see here all these things you can do. Or you can come up here and you can just hit Control A, hit delete and just delete everything and they're gone and you can start over. So to start over what you do is, is hit your back button if you paused it like I did and it's going to start back over. So let's go ahead and get rid of this and let's do another search and I'll show you how from start to finish that I do this when I look for keywords that I want to use for new videos. Alright so let's say that I'm making a video for one of my food YouTube channels based around keto. So I could come up here and I could type in keto and we could scroll down through here and I can maybe try to come up keto blank under one keto under cheap keto best keto for that's a good one or top keto for scroll on down see what else we got and that's for celebrity fashions reviews keto blank reviews blank keto reviews okay let's say I want to do a review product let's find out what's popular we'll do keto reviews you can see it adds it here and we'll do star keto review and let's just hit play and see what we come up with. All right, so we're going to get a lot of results here, which I really wasn't expecting that many. So we'll just pause it right here. And then what I'm going to do is copy all of these. And then for me, I use a refs. If you have another keyword tool that allows you to paste these keywords in to get search results, you can use those. But for me, I use a refs. I'm just going to come in here under keyword explorer. I'm going to paste in this list and hit search. And now I have an idea based on this small list of keywords which one has the most searches. And I can wait and I can let this keyword list build up into hundreds or even thousands of keywords. I can filter through them which is what I normally do and then take the ones that I think are going to be good. Maybe it's a list of 100 or 200 maybe more. Then I will paste them in here and find the ones that has the most results. And that's how I come up with uh, titles for my YouTube videos and even my website posts. Now the other thing is, let me go back here, let's say we want to delete everything. You can also do the same thing with Amazon. You can do the same thing with YouTube. So maybe you're wanting to search on how to do something on YouTube. Let's just say how to and then star. And then we're going to get a ton of ideas on here all based around how to that we can make videos on. I'll go ahead and pause it and then remember if if you come over here and if you click the A to A to Z to Z it's going to take a little bit longer but you're going to get so many more results in fact if we come back over here and if we do like let's just say our, our keyword is keto 
and then what it's going to do is if I it's going to start with the letter A and it's going to copy all those characters there and then it's going to go B and it's going to copy all those and then it's going to go C D E F and it's going to go through and copy every one of these and it's going to add it to the software for you uh, saving you an immense amount of work but this is an amazing tool like I said it's just a one-time price I'll put that link below this video if you guys want to go there and check it out it is an amazing keyword tool and there's other you can also get Google related you can get Google questions which are really popular to make YouTube videos from as well so but like I mentioned earlier it has a huge tutorial base that goes through and shows you step by step how to use every aspect of this tool just in case you want to go in depth and use it more than what I do but that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please like it. Let me know. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Click the bell, and I'll let you know when I upload new videos. Thanks.